Hello guys on YouTube, how are you guys today? Well, I want to talk to you guys today about video and audio cables for your different of equipment you use every single day. Now, I have a selection of analog and digital cables on my uh, table here. But the reason why I want to talk to you guys is about the cheap cables and also the very high-end, expensive cables. By the way, it's a uh, it's it's the note on what you want to able to purchase and buy on what the good quality of the cable is. It doesn't matter what the cable outside looks like. And what matters of the cable shielding and conductor wires on the inside of the wires itself with the level wires coating on it. Now, I have bought many cables in the past and each cable has break, broken and also failed because of a bad connection. Now, the reason why these cables are so important to us to use every day is because these send audio and video signals from all your different devices. From like your TVs, cable boxes, VCR, TV players, Blu-rays and all, all that kind of stuff. All that stuff is going to have a digital and analog signals as well. That's why I have a component, composite, S-video, composite audio, digital audio, and also HDMI cables right here. If you're wondering what's on the inside of a cable, you want to look on the thickness of the cable and see what the thickness of the cable looks like. This is a composite cable, you guys can see. Here you have the inner core is a conductor wire. It's very thin copper and the outer core is called a shield. Now some uh, cables are going to have more layers than this uh, cable does not. You can see how thin this cable really is because of the jacket on the outside because this is a very cheap composite cable video. It has a very thin core and a very thick uh, ground or so, you know your shield. Your shield is your ground right here. It's a very, it's a very thick and stuff, you know. But it's not because of what's on the inside. Again, of your cable, you want to look at. It's the type of connections on the end of what you gotta look at. You got three different gold platings here. And you have two different silver platings here. Now on this one, this one is a very good cable. This is a high-end uh, co uh, component cable. Okay, it's a digital cable, by the way. This is a gold-plated cable. Very high quality. You guys can see what the thickness of the cable looks like. This is the outer jacket of the Rebel and it also has sheafing on the inside. But when you get on to the inside of the cable, you might be very surprised on what's on the inside of that cable itself. Now, here we have a composite cable. This composite cable has three components. We have a, a gold plane connectors, again RCAs, and this is the video cable. And you guys can see on how thin the audio cable is on this cable itself. It's pretty thin, but when you take it apart, it's like, oh, okay, it's like, mm, it's very thin uh, wires on the inside. Now this is sports audio, this does not, that's this video, this is audio and video. And here you have a very analog S video cable. A very high quality brand. Again, very nicely uh, gold plating connectors on each side. Again, this is S video. This does not have audio. And here you have the audio cable. This is what you use for your S video 
all your component cables. But notice, this is a seal tip uh, composite audio analog audio cable. But you guys can see on how thin the wire is. That's because there's some interference if the cable is too thin or if the cable is just way too thin itself and doesn't support the noise very properly. Some cables are different than ours. Now this is a digital audio cable here. This sends a light of beam through the fiber optical cable on the inside of it. But as you can see, it's also pretty thin. Very lightweight and very thin. This does not have any uh, gold plating or silver plating on. And last but not least is the HDMI cable. The HDMI cable has everything you need. Video and also audio. This is a very cheap cable. Uh, you know, not a very good brand. Just a cheap HDMI. You guys can see it's not a gold plate. It is a silver plate. Now, I'm going to tell you about the gold plate and silver plate. The gold and silver plating or anti-corrosive uh, material will keep these from uh, coating on your equipment if you have them nail uh, moisture and stuff. But again, the cable is pretty thick sheathing on the outside. But again, when you slice it open on the inside, you're going to have very thin cables. And again, this is a very cheap cable, like I uh, say about like, uh, very cheap, less than... Uh, maybe four dollars or something like that there guys. Now again with the higher end cables like the gold plating cables you will pay more than what you would pay for the cheaper uh, cables. Now this will have a good shield on the inside. Not all these cables have uh, shielding. Uh, you know foil and stuff like that on the inside of these cables. Because each cable is a very different unique way of the made. And let's uh, point out to you guys again on when you take cables apart you never know what's going to be on the inside of that cable. This is a very uh, your conductor wire and your shield cable right here. And this is a very thin uh, core and this is a very thick uh, cable as well. This I took apart I just snipped off the ends just to uh, see what's on the inside of the cable. Now again, every single cable here has copper wire on the inside. Now, again, it doesn't matter on how much you flex this cable, on how much you bend this cable, it can break any matter which way possible on the cable itself. Now, you do have to be very careful with all your equipment and also your audio uh, cables and video cables. Make sure you don't kink them and make sure you don't twist them and make sure you don't uh, bend them because once you bend them or you twist them forget it guys because there's no way to repeal uh, these cables once they break. You might have different connectors out there you can actually fix these cables but once they break they will break. This is a digital output it would send a digital output from all your different devices to your TV. Once this cable breaks, that's it. Same thing with uh, all these own uh, cables will also break. Again, we have uh, component, composite, S video, analog audio, digital audio, and also digital HDMI. Now, what's a good quality brand cable? It only depends on how much you want to spend on those type of cables. Now. Again, for most audio devices, you would have to use a analog cable, like the uh, composite cable, or a Corlex cable for a very old uh, VCR. Why? Because the older equipment may not have this video, may not have the digital uh, HDMI, or also component cables. Because it's just the way things are made nowadays. But do look at your cables and make sure you select a very good brand and also a very good quality cable. Now what I would mostly go with, I would mostly go with the gold uh, plating tipped 
Snake connectors. Those will be a lot better instead of the cheap uh, silver connectors. Now, not everything's going to have gold plating here, guys. Everything's still going to have a silver plating. Now, the good quality uh, cables are going to be a lot heavier and a lot uh, stiffer than the, and then the cheaper, lighter weight cables will be a whole lot thinner like this very uh, thin uh, audio cable here. Now, let's talk about noise feedback. Now, noise feedback can come from all sorts of your different cables we use every day. Like, if you use a component with a analog uh, cable, it's okay. But then you'll get that noise on your speakers, on your TV, or your sound around, and also on your receiver as well. Now, if you use a digital output with a digital uh, cable like this one, that's fine. You're not going to get any type of noise from that at all. Now, what is uh, called a feedback? A feedback can cause a dead short in one of these cables. Say the conductor wire, okay. It's sure to ground. Then you can have no signal. Then you also can have noise from the cable as well. But yeah, this is all the different equipment and also different cables I use for everyday use for all my equipment. My TVs, my VCRs, my DVD players, my Blu-rays. All sorts of cables I use every single day for everything. Now, for my older equipment, I'm not going to use HDMI. I can't use the digital uh, cable. I would have to go with the analog uh, cables like the composite or the analog audio or the components or the S-Video. If these have the main uh, connectors, like these three main connectors, you're good. Now, if it does not have these three main connectors, then it's not good. Then it's going. To, it's old school. Then it, you're going back to coax cable, and coax cable is an analog signal as well. Alright, uh, guys, if you are all going into this channel, please hit that subscribe button, and also please like. Please leave a comment down below. Peace out. Bye, guys. We'll see you in the next vlog. I hope you liked this tutorial of talking about my audio and video cable.